Well, hi there, girls and boys and dads and moms, and welcome to PJs and Pillows. Tonight's story is called Merry Christmas, Streganona. The story and the pictures are by Tommy DePaola. Let's begin. It was the first Sunday of Advent, and everyone in the little town in Calabria was busy getting ready for Christmas, including Streganona, Grandma Witch. She was busy getting everything ready for the Christmas Eve feast that she prepared every year. Big Anthony, who worked for Streganana, was being kept busy too. Anthony, said Streganana, don't dawdle. There are only four weeks to Natale, Christmas, and there is so much to do. The whole house must be cleaned, and there is so much cooking and baking to do. After all, everybody in the town will be here. Why can't Bumbalona help? whined Big Anthony. Bumbalona was the baker's daughter who had come to stay with Streganana and learn her magic. Bumbalona has gone to help her father at the bakery, answered Streganana. With Christmas coming, the poor baker was in such trouble with so many people asking for special cakes and cookies that he didn't even have time to sit in the square with his friends. Bambalona and Streganana felt sorry for him. So Streganana sent Bambalona home to help. Why don't you help the baker out with your magic, Streganana? asked Big Anthony. No, not at Christmas, said Streganana. Now go shake out those feather beds. Anthony, said Streganana, run down the hill to the town and get me a new broom so we can sweep the house from top to bottom. Oh, Streganana, said Big Anthony, can't we sweep the house with magic? Not at Christmas time, said Streganana. So Big Anthony went down the hill to get a new broom. Streganana worked hard cleaning the house from top to bottom as the days of Advent went by. Each week she lit one more candle on the Advent wreath. And each day she sent Big Anthony on an errand down to the town. New brooms, new candles, new curtains, new bed covers, new tablecloth. Anthony, said Streganana, Run down the hill and get me the bacala, the dried codfish for the Christmas stew. And when you get back, put it in the tub with water to soak it. Soak it? asked Big Anthony. Yes, answered Streganana. Every day until Christmas Eve, you must change the water so the fish will be nice and soft and not too salty for the Christmas stew. Can't your magic do all that? asked Big Anthony. No, no magic at Christmas, said Streganana. Christmas has a magic of its own. So Big Anthony set off down the hill. Hello, Big Anthony, said one of the townspeople. How's Streganana? Oh, said Big Anthony, she's very busy getting the house ready for Christmas. Every day she sends me to town to get something. Every day she has me helping her clean windows, shake out the beds, paint the goat shed. She's getting ready to cook all kinds of things. I have to soak the codfish, the bacala, and change the water every day until Christmas Eve. <laughs> and I'm tired. Don't you know that Streganana loves Natale, Christmas? A man from town asked. That's why she's so busy, why she doesn't even have time to cure headaches and make love potions and get rid of warts. Every year she cleans her house and prepares a big feast and invites everyone, said a woman. She invites everyone? asked Big Anthony. Everyone, said the woman. 
Why, it wouldn't seem Natale without the feast at Streganana's house. Hello, Big Anthony, said Bambalona, who was on her way to the bakery. Are you in town to buy Streganana a Christmas gift? Oh, Bambalona, I want to talk to you about that, said Big Anthony. One by one the days went by, and finally it was the day of Christmas Eve, La Vigilia di Natale. Now, Anthony, said Streganana, here is a long list of things for you to get for me. Flour, eggs, butter, spices, peppers, olives, oil and sugar. Now hurry down the hill and hurry right home again, for I have all kinds of things to cook and bake. <laughs> oh, Streganana, Big Anthony complained, can't you use... No magic at Christmas time, said Streganana. Now go. I have to decorate the house with the lemon blossoms and periwinkles. Streganana waited and waited and waited. No Big Anthony. Finally, the sun began to set and Big Anthony came whistling up the hill with empty hands. Anthony! said Streganana, standing in the doorway of her little house. Where have you been? Oh, Streganana, there was a Christmas puppet show in the town square. It came all the way from Venice, up north. And where are the things on my list? Oh, said Big Anthony, I forgot. Anthony, what am I going to do? It's Christmas Eve. There will be no cookies, no senji fried pastry, no roasted peppers. Oh, well, go get me the bacala so I can at least make the fish stew. Big Anthony came back holding the codfish. It was as stiff as a board. I forgot this too, said Big Anthony. I forgot to soak it in the water. Oh, Big Anthony. Won't you ever learn? cried Streganana. Now it's too late to prepare anything to eat for the feast. There's always your magic pot, said Big Anthony timidly. No, I've told you before, no magic at Christmas, said Streganana. There will be no Christmas feast at Streganana's this year. So Streganana sent Big Anthony to tell everyone not to come to her house for the feast. She looked at the lemon blossoms and periwinkles decorating the house. Outside, she heard the Zampognari, the shepherds from Abruzzi, who came all the way down to Calabria to sing Christmas songs. The bells rang. It was time for midnight mass. Sadly, Streganana went down the hill to church. A fine Christmas this would be with no company and no feast. The townspeople whispered as she went into the church. No feast, said one. Poor us, said another. Poor Streganana. When the Mass was ended, Streganana went up to the big manger scene at the church. There beside the Virgin and St. Joseph lay the Holy Child. Ah, Bambino, said Streganana, the night you were born, it was not like this manger scene with all these people. You were all alone with your Mama and St. Joseph, all alone, just like Streganana is tonight. Ah, uh, anyway, happy birthday, Bambino, and Buon Natale. And Streganana slowly left the dark church and climbed up the hill to her little house. She opened the door, and the room burst into light. Buon Natale, Merry Christmas, Streganana, everyone cried. This year, we're giving you a feast. 
Look, said Bombalona, codfish stew, roasted peppers, cookies, and fried pastry. Oh, Bombalona, said Streganana. Did you do all this for Streganana? No, Streganana, said Bombalona. Big Anthony. Planned the whole surprise. Bravo, Big Anthony, everyone shouted. Merry Christmas, Streganana, said Big Anthony. Oh, Anthony, said Streganana, you have learned, and with no magic. It's just like you said, Streganana, Big Anthony smiled. Christmas has a magic of its own. And here's Streganana giving Big Anthony a pinch on the cheek. And that is the end of the story. So brush your teeth, hug the people. that you love and have sweet dreams. Good night.